Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Supergirl season number 3, episode number 22, Make It Rain. This episode is directed by Armin Kevorkian. In this episode here, we got a lot of craziness happening. Now we got, um, we got Supergirl, Mon L, and back on, back on Argos. And they're trying to get, they're trying to get back to Earth because they're figuring out exactly what Selene's plan, Selene's plan is. Which is not good. It's not good at all. If you find out she's part of the, 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 that strange cult on Krypton who, who, who works with the World Breakers, who wants to pretty much change the world and we make it in their own image, and, that's, and they're going to also kill a lot of people, and that sucks. So they got to stop them from make, 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 that, make sure that happen. Then you have um, Lena Luthor, and she's um, trying to see what's trying to help Samantha because um, Sam is slowly dying because they separated her from Rain, but the human part of her, well, human part of her is, well, um, not handling it quite well. And you got Selene and her, and her group of, of dark Kryptonians are trying to resurrect Rain and give her a body. So the stronger Rain gets, the weaker, the weaker Sam gets, and then next thing you know, Sam's going to die. And then, her, and then her daughter Ruby is going to lose her mother all over again. Because see, Sam... And um, Rain are the same person. So splitting them in half, well, it's not working out so well for Sam. And so you got Lena, and you also got um, Textmaker, who's now a scientist now, for reasons I don't understand. I mean, I can, I can understand if they kind of hint, hint, hinted to it that she was actually really smart and had a science background from the start. So when they established her as a character... You could kind of see her going in that direction, but she never really talked, and you don't really get to know her. And she just seems like just a secretary. And the only reason why the people that have her on the show is just an homage to the Superman movies, and so, so people can say "Text Marker." So that's pretty much it. So I guess she's, she's a super smart scientist now. So yay, okay, well, whatever. It wasn't established at all, but whatever. And so now she's help. She's trying. She's helping Lena to try to find a um a, a, a way to help Sam become. Uh, normal, I guess in a way. Not well, not normal, because she's never gonna be normal. She's alien. She's a Kryptonian, but but she does have Kryptonian cells in her, and so they're, they're trying to awaken her Kryptonian cells, so she so she be just like Supergirl, which would be awesome. I'm not sure they're gonna utilize her, utilize her at all because they they barely use Martian Manhunter, and he's on the show. So having two Supergirls. Oh well, let's, let's see what happens. But for right now, they try to help her help her live. And then you got John and his father, and his father about to die. And so, but before he dies, he wants to pass on all his knowledge and all the things he experienced onto his son, so they can live on inside of him. And they and they have that little ritual on, um, by themselves there. They're not, they're not dealing with, the whole, with the, everything that's going on in the DOA and all the crap that's going on. They 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 got they got, that, they got their own family father and son thing going on. I mean, they do come in later on, but for right now, they got their thing. They got their thing. Then you got Wen, who's a genius, who, who because now, because the DOA decided to go into non-lethal weapons, I'm not quite sure I'm down with that. I mean, I understand where they're coming from, and I get the message behind it, but for what they deal with on a daily basis, because they, they're not going, I see, I see they're going after regular people, but they're not. They're going after superpower people, alien threats. Using non-lethal weapons as their defense to save the Earth. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But whatever. Because you got these aliens coming down using high-powered, high-tech weapons that can kill you. And you're using something like, like a stun them. That may work. Maybe. But a lot of times the bullets you were using wasn't stopping them. So what would a stun gun do, really? If a bullet couldn't stop them, a stun gun wouldn't do much. So... Again, man, let's see where this goes. So you got Wen, who who who, um, who decides who, um, who, um, who created a, a a a force field around around a, around a person to protect them from any type of outside threat, which is fantastic. It's very very smart, and it's also very interesting because Brainiac, in the future, uses one of these type of devices. Now I don't know. They're trying to say that Wen was the, was the reason why this device is this in the first place. The, or Brainiac um, created it based off of Wynn's technology? Maybe. I don't know. But it's very interesting to see. And you see him use that in this episode in this episode right here. 
So you got Kara getting to Earth, trying to save Samantha from um, Selena's plan to take over the world. Then you got um, John dealing with his father, and his father passed on, and all the trauma that's going along with side of that. And, and he, the thing is, though, he's getting ready to mourn his father, and but also receive all the knowledge and experience that he, that, that he has gone through, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And he's putting his witness in that with his dad, which is a quite beautiful, very, very quite, um, lovely moment. So overall, I, I did enjoy this episode a lot. I mean, there's still a lot of things about this show as those, those kind of weird to me. I don't quite understand, especially the whole t test market situation. And the whole non these weapon thing, but I'm going on with this. See where this goes. Let's see where this goes. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying the whole story arc with, with the whole um with the Sam and the Rain situation. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um an issue from the comic books when um, the Bruce Banner and um Incredible Hulk got separated. And so watching watching how one's getting stronger and the other one's getting weaker because it, cause even though. Samantha hated that part of herself. That, that is her. That is that is her. And now that the other part of her is gone, she kind of needs her to survive, which is very ironic. She got rid of the problem, but it, it caused it made things worse. Yeah. So bad. So bad. And I'm liking the whole dark Kryptonian thing situation. And and, and, and another bright note: we got Eric Durant. She's part of the show now. Because we, we all all this time we thought that um, Carol's mom died, got blown up on Krypton. Turns out, no, not so much. She survived. She was living on Argos. So now, so now you got the mother and daughter reunited, and you had this whole budding relationship going on between um, Carol and Monel. Look, 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 they're starting to rekindle their relationship because see, Monel pretty much pretty much telling Carol that he never really got over her, and he still has feelings for her, which makes sense. They they they, they date in real life, so they, they might as well have them date on the show too. So. Art is imitating imitating life and vice versa. So, enjoying the show. Enjoy this episode right here. It's very dramatic. Has some touching moments in here too, especially the scene between um John and his father, um and also between some um Samantha and her daughter Ruby. Her Ruby because Ruby rooting for her mom. She doesn't want to lose her mom again, which was suck big time. And the interesting part though is anything will happen to Ruby because Ruby's not really completely he all human. So, are they going to do anything with that storyline? Or are they going to let that just go? Or she's just going to be a regular girl for the rest of her life? Because, she, technically, she's half Kryptonian. So, what would that, what does that mean for her? Would she develop powers later on? Would they, would they have her just be a normal girl? I don't know. Hopefully, they don't have to make her turn evil, too. But still, where would that going to go? I don't know. So that's pretty much that. That's pretty much that, yeah. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Supergirl. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel the big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Also hit, hit the little bell at the bottom to get notified every time I make a video. It's like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Ah, uh, people.